What's up guys, how you all doing? So I thought I'd bring you guys this uh, video. I spoke to you a little while ago about the fact that I was kind of implementing a new little sort of home server system for my own sort of internal testing. So I thought I'd show you guys kind of how I'm getting on with that and uh, what, how, you know, what I'm doing with it so far. So I have upgraded to the latest version of vSphere. So you can see here we're on uh, version 5.5 .5 and I've got my one host here and I've also got uh, some of my virtual machines. So I've kept my old domain, which is, I've got a domain, two domain controllers, obviously for resilience. And then I've got my old 2008 uh, exchange server with exchange 2007 on that I use for all of my kind of um, email uh, requirements. And in fact, the whole family uses it uh, and various other people use it as well. And what I've actually done is I've built a new server. So you can see here, I've got a 2012 R2 uh, server that I've put exchange 2013 on and I'm going to be using that particular box to migrate my old email over. And this was kind of my first look really at Exchange uh, 2013. So this is, as you can see, uh, Server 2012 here. And let's just go back to the desktop. You can see this is the new uh, uh, admin page for Exchange. Now, historically, this has always been a MMC console or even a standalone console but they seem to have gone with a web page this time. Now I'm not sure with Exchange 2013 if there's maybe an MMC as well. Some of you may know, if you do, leave it in the comments. Uh, but for now, this is a, a new kind of web page, which is quite strange because I absolutely hate web pages for management consoles. They're always kind of laggy and slow. Uh, you can't right click, you know, it, everything's just kind of a bit crappy. So maybe that's not permanent. Maybe that's not the case entirely, but you know, that's how it is at the moment, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. So this is Server 2012, so it obviously looks pretty much the same as uh, Windows 2008, in the same way that 2008 R2 uh, has the um, uh, Windows 7 shell, two, Server 2003 and 2008 has the XP shell. So yeah, this is what you, what you get with it basically, but like I say, it looks pretty much the same as the um, server uh, sorry as Windows 8 so also I've built this kind of little management box here and as you can see I have just downloaded uh, Zen Desktop 7.1 and that is a Citrix product which I will be using on this box so I'll be setting up Zen Desktop 7.1 Platinum which will give me my uh, VDI and also my RDS um, hosted shared desktop solution as well so That'll all be going on another server, which I have actually built on server 2012. Don't think I've got it open here at the moment, but I'll just show you here. So that will be this one, which is 2012 um, XD01, which is obviously for Zen desktop. So that will be that. And then I will be building a VMware Horizon View server as well, which I'll be putting in. I'll also be building a couple of workstations for my VDI. Uh, one for VMware and one for Citrix. And then I will also be um, building a 2012 RDS box, which I will be using for remote desktop services to put um, Zen Desktop App Edition on as well. But anyway, guys, I am waffling. Thought I'd give you guys a quick show of what I'm doing there because I know so many of you were interested. Sorry for those of you that really couldn't give a crap. But for those of you that can, there you go. And uh, have yourselves a great weekend, guys. I will pick up with you um, probably tomorrow or the next day. See ya.